Here's a quick guide of how to do your camber on the front of a polo. Uh, this should be the same as Golf, Polo, Seat, uh, most of the VW Audi family. Um, once you lower your car, uh, you have to reset your camber. So your front wheels track straight and your steering wheel st sit straight. So, tools you're going to need to do this is uh, 19mm breaker bar. Uh, a wheel brace to take your wheel off, a uh, standard Halfers tool set, a multiple directional spirit level, and a ratchet with a 19mm or 18mm sorry um, socket on there. So, first thing you need to do is jack the car up. You need to jack the car up completely level. So, you put your spirit level on the car. Jack the car up until the car is completely straight like that. Once you've jacked your car up and the car is on a level surface, I did this by parking one side up on the kerb and then leaving the other side jacked up so I could jack the car up level. So, once you've done that, take your wheel off and you've got two big bolts here. So, first of all you need to loosen these two bolts so that you can actually move the suspension leg and the disc and, and caliper uh, around quite freely. Once you've done this, uh, use something like a screwdriver lock I have here and put that in to help you with a bit of leverage and to also hold it in place. So what you need to do, undo these, move this around until when you put your spirit level this way up, you get your ball, your bubble centered in the top here. So. You can do this by manoeuvring this here, so backwards and forwards, up, down, until you get your bubble straight. Once you get your bubble straight, you then need to tighten these bolts here, and then once you lower your car, your camber on the front should be, as they say, zero, uh, zero degrees. So that's how you do camber on a polo. 6N2. Also Golf, Seats and most of the other VW Audi family. There you go. Thank you for watching.